So you're looking for a new mattress. Maybe you're looking for something for an extra room. Maybe you're replacing what you've got already because it's worn out and you're here. So that means you're not quite sure about what sort of mattress you want to go with. And that's all right. In this video, we're going to be talking about Innerspring mattresses and why they might be one of the best choices for you. Buying a mattress is seldom something people really look forward to doing. After all, how long has it been since you actually thought of it? A lot of people come in and it's been quite a while, 15, 20 years a lot of times before they've, uh, before they've replaced a mattress. And I know I used to think I could sleep on just about anything and for a while I did. But mattress technology really has advanced pretty rapidly in the past even couple of years. I'm Vincent Smith, I'm a bedding specialist here at Furniture Fair, and in, in today's video we're going to be discussing what goes into the construction of an inner spring mattress, the benefits of an inner spring mattress along with some drawbacks. We'll also go over what the price range is on inner spring mattresses that have different features and what you can do if you have any further questions or concerns. An inner spring mattress is the sort of mattress most people see is somewhat conventional, but just like with memory foam mattresses and the newer hybrids, a lot of stuff has changed about them in the past little while. A good place to start is with the construction. At the bottom, an inner spring mattress has a layer of springs, or a pack of springs as they're often called, which forms a core. Up from the support system, which consists of the springs, is a buffer. This usually consists of a layer of memory foam. Sometimes it's more than one. It's usually just a singular layer of a denser memory foam. The purpose of this is to sort of buffer the springs against the comfort layers at the top. This makes sure that you're not sleeping right on top of the springs, not something you want. Oftentimes, when mattresses have two layers of memory foam that serve as a buffer, there is a layer of denser foam at the bottom, and like in a memory foam mattress, a layer of gel foam at the top. This layer of gel foam focuses a lot on pressure relief. It conforms to the shape of your body. Above this, there is a layer of batting or less dense foam. Batting is usually either a synthetic plant or animal fiber woven together to form a sort of breathable pad. Oftentimes, this is what you see under the top quilted layer or in the pillow top of an inner spring mattress. Standard wire springs have been used in mattresses for a very, very long time and for good reason. They tend to offer very good support and pretty solid durability. The next kind of spring that you often find is wrapped wire spring. These are springs that consist of usually three wrapped together springs. Now you might ask, what's the point of having a spring that's made that way with the three wires? The answer is a spring like that can be lighter than a heavier gauge spring and it still retains its same level of resistance so you don't have a spring you know, if it's thicker, that is going to make the mattress firmer, too firm even, along with being heavier. The new Buterest Black Series actually uses something they call the T3 wrapped spring. These springs tend to get about three million impressions compared to usually one to one and a half for a standard wire spring. And even though wire springs tend not to be the first thing to go wrong with an inner spring mattress, that little bit of extra assuredness in the support that your mattress gives you can mean quite a bit, especially if you sleep with a partner. Pocketed coil springs are individual springs pocketed in a high tensile fabric bag almost. This is a little bit more common in higher end mattresses and it has some distinct advantages over the old wire rim system. They're wrapped pretty tightly and then they're sewn together into this pack and often wired as well so that they kind of hold together. They are compatible with adjustable bases, they're more movable, and they also tend to respond a little bit better to body movements and they also enable you to have different types of coils as well as foam around the edge of the mattress. The important thing about that is that you need a little bit of extra support around the edge so when you're sitting on the mattress you don't sink in too deeply. Those smaller coils they put on the edge of a mattress in their individual pockets kind of conform to the shape of your body a little bit better. Microcoils are a very, very small layer of high coil count springs in the top layer of a mattress, often right in there in the comfort layers, in the batting or the foam that makes up the top of the mattress. Certain manufacturers have implemented microcoils in the past little while to make the mattress conform a little bit better to the shape of your body, something very important in making a mattress feel good and last for a good amount of time without impressioning. You might ask, what's the point of having springs up there? We already have plenty down below. This is the surface area, you say, of normal coil spring. Imagine sleeping on top of that. It can only conform so much to the shape of your body, really. A microcoil, what it does is, you have a surface area only the size of a dime compared to, you know, a small mug. It's going to conform a lot better to the shape of your body when you're laying on it. That's the point of a microcoil. It is to 
force the padding to move a little bit better, conform to your sleeping positions, and still respond quickly. Some of the benefits of Innerspring mattresses include their prioritization of support system. Springs make a fantastic and really especially responsive support system under a mattress. They support your body weight really well. Make sure you don't sink into the mattress. They also give excellent edge support so that if you sit on the edge of your mattress, you don't have to worry about sinking in too far, sliding off when you're getting up in the morning, anything like that. One thing unique to mattresses that use inner springs as their support system is that they can have what they call multi-zone support. This is support springs that are tempered differently depending on the area of the body they're designed to support. So for example, if more weight's concentrated on your hips and shoulders, especially if you're a side sleeper, the springs in those areas will be designed to support a little bit more of your weight. Sometimes you can even see in the mattress a little bit of a lump where your hips or your shoulders would be. Don't worry if you see that. It's not an impression. It's not anything wrong with the mattress. It's designed to support you better. It literally is a mattress designed to fit your body right from the get-go. Not only is there the fact that most of these have a memory foam of some sort in there that lets that kind of quilted top conform a little bit better to your body shape, but these quilted tops are especially breathable, even more so than the cooling memory foam, because a lot of times the foam and the padding that's used in the top is some sort of fiber. They've woven it into some sort of fiber that air can move through very easily. Innerspring mattresses are excellent for hot sleepers. Innerspring mattresses have been in development for a long time. Technically since, you know, early 1900s, even before that, even a lot of the time. But, uh, but they do come with, despite their long development period, a few unique drawbacks. For one, they prioritize support over comfort a little bit. So oftentimes the comfort layers at the top will be a little bit less responsive than certain other types of mattresses. Systems like micro coils do get around that to a certain extent, but oftentimes they are just a little bit less responsive. Another potential drawback of an Interspring mattress is movement isolation. If you've ever slept with a partner, you know that if they roll over at night, it can create those sort of mini earthquakes. And that is something that is pretty unique to an Interspring mattress. Because they have that very, very responsive support system, it's going to respond to someone else moving on the bed. Like I mentioned earlier, Innerspring mattresses have been in development for a long time, over a hundred years. They really have done their homework when it comes to making a good mattress, and so there really aren't too many unique drawbacks to an Innerspring mattress, really just ways that they compare more or less favorably to other mattress types. The price range for Innerspring mattresses varies quite a bit, but one of the most important things to consider is the way that the inner springs are actually packaged, whether they're pocketed, like I was mentioning earlier, sewn together in a sort of pack in that high tensile fabric, or whether they rely on a metallic rim around the outside to support them. Oftentimes, mattresses in the sort of three to $500 range tend to rely on that rim, and they have a unique drawback of not being compatible with adjustable bases, so be sure to pay attention to that. At around the $1,500 range, you'll start to find mattresses that have higher coil count. They'll start to go up a little bit. That'll give you that more responsive support we were talking about. Up from there, there are a few mattresses even that have the microcoil system we were talking about. Those tend to be closer to the $2,000 range for those microcoils, but they do offer a lot more responsive support. They conform a little bit better to the shape of your body. They don't rely quite as much on the support system to give you that. Oftentimes, a nicer mattress will have a little bit higher coil count, and just like we were talking about with the micro coils, if you have more smaller coils, they'll conform to the shape of your body well, while still offering that really movement responsive, sleeping position responsive support. If you have any further questions about inner spring mattresses, maybe something we didn't cover in today's video, feel free to call into one of our 11 locations or use live chat to speak with one of our online sales consultants. You can also set up an appointment with one of our bedding specialists at one of our locations where we can fit you to a mattress that works right for you. Here we've got our bed match machine that we can use to fit a mattress specifically to you. It's like I was saying earlier, a mattress that fits you best is going to be the one that lasts the longest, give you the support that felt good in the showroom for the longest amount of time. Well, that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one.